Hi everybody, good morning. My name is Pastor Frederick Blichnot and uh, I'm bringing you your daily blitz this morning. How many of you know that timing is everything? And uh, uh, I, the other day I spoke to a man who said that while they were busy doing grocery shopping and uh, the, the, the finances were tough and uh, he started putting things away because he didn't have enough finances and he packed some of the most expensive items back and when he came to the till with his wife he gave way to another person in the front and then afterwards after waiting a while he came to the front and then the, the teller came and said to him sir you're our thousand customer and uh, we want to just pay for all of your your groceries and the, and some people would say that is great luck and and the world knows that it knows it as luck but we understand that when we are led by the spirit of god that god leads us into different situations and god blesses us and although timing they say is every every single thing um, um, we know that the timing and the seasons of God is uh, what we as Christians and what we need to look at. And so you might sit there and you say, you know, I met my wife and the timing was just right. I was at the right place at the right and, and then I met her. Or uh, the other day I was, I was busy doing, uh, I went to a shop uh, uh, to do some groceries. And then I read on the news uh, about a half an hour after I've been there, two, uh, there was a robbery and two people got shot dead in the robbery just in half an hour and I can remember that particular day I was delayed I was angry I was frustrated because uh, people delayed me and, and all types of things and I couldn't get my way and then I realized it's not just about luck or being at the right place at the right time it's about being led by the Spirit of God it's about the timing of God so I want to say you just not you're not just lucky you, you are led by the Spirit of God. And when we look at a scripture in Esther 4 verse 4, you know the whole story of Esther and how she, she became the savior of the, uh, and saved basically the whole nation of Israel. Uh, 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 it is said of her in Esther 4, 4 verse 14, it says, For if you remain silent at this time, relief and deliverance for the Jews will arise from another place but you and your father's family will perish. And who knows, but that you have come to your royal position for such a time as this. And so I wanna leave this thought to you, that you're not just lucky. You were just not there by luck or by coincidence. But I wanna say to you that God divinely placed you in the right position at the right time because he's got a blessing and a calling upon your life. So whoever you meet today, wherever you find yourself today, know that God is leading you and is guiding you into the right exact position. Let us pray. Father, we understand and we know that your word is true and that you are leading us and guiding us by your precious spirit. I pray for everyone today that they will experience your divine leading and your divine favor in every single area of their lives. In the precious name of Jesus, amen.